everyone. This is part two of our uh, getting started series. Uh, so we talked about in the last video, we talked about how to uh, set up your budget with uh, categories and groups and accounts and using the configuration page. Um, for our next step, we're actually going to initialize those accounts uh, and, and let the spreadsheet know uh, what those uh, current account balances are. So then you can begin budgeting uh, that money. So we left off on the configuration page uh, and I just uh, added in these accounts in our previous video. I'm going to go over now to the transactions page, uh, and this is where I'm actually going to set up uh, those accounts with actual funds. Uh, so for today's date, I'm just going to put in uh, the date. I know I'm going to have four different uh, four different accounts, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that down uh, for the date to make that reusable. Um, over in the outflow section, I'm not going to do anything there yet because I'm actually going to set up my checking uh, accounts first. Um, in the inflow section, uh, I'm going to say that I have uh, $3,500 in, in uh, my first account, which is the checking account. Uh, for the category itself, I am initializing this account, so I'm going to start it off with a starting balance. And I'm just going to call the memo uh, account uh, start. Uh, and for the status, uh, since this is a cleared, cleared transaction, uh, it's not pending and it's not a reconciliation point. I'm going to click the check mark, um, and I'm going to do the same thing now uh, for my other uh, accounts here. So starting balance again for my savings account. Again, I'm going to call this the account start. Okay. Now for the credit cards, they're a little bit different um, because those are not assets; those are debts. Uh, we're going to track those as an outflow item. Uh, I know for my uh, first credit card. I have a $500 balance on that that I'm carrying, and I'm just going to say starting balance and credit card. And once again, we're just starting up our accounts there. And for my second credit card, uh, I'm going to say that I have a balance of uh, $75 on that. And again, starting balance, the actual card or account, my memo, and this is a cleared transaction. Great. Okay, so I can see here um, that I've got my account set up. I've got those current balances that are that are entered in, uh, positive inflows for checking and savings accounts, uh, and non no uh, non debts. Uh, and over in the outflow section, I have outflows for the debts that I'm tracking. In this case, uh, credit cards, which they'll pretty much always be credit cards. Um, so to confirm that all of that got added in. I'm going to flip over just to the dashboard really quickly, uh, and I can see that in available to budget, I have $13,500. So that's made up of $3,500 from the checking account, $10,000 from the savings account, and then I've also got uh, my two uh, credit cards over here at the side that have some negative balances, um, but we'll talk about credit cards again uh, a little bit later. Uh, there'll be a video dedicated to, to some credit card scenarios there. Um, so that's really quickly how to initialize your accounts. Uh, we saw over on the transactions page how to do uh, various types of accounts, and then over on the dashboard, we can see how that's reflected uh, there just to, just to verify your information. So coming up next, uh, we're gonna talk about how to, how to fund your categories and start planning your budget uh, using the category transfers view. Uh, and then after that, we'll, uh, we'll get into how to add some transactions. So until then, see you then.